everybody welcome to fame world educational hub myself ashwarya saxena and today in the playlist of python i am going to add on something more you have already noticed this playlist of python programming where we have 85 videos python programming playlist is having 85 videos itself today i am going to start with new concepts of python in the python programming playlist so it will be added here also and you will be getting a separate playlist on fame world educational hub for the python mysql so today i am going to start with python mysql connectivity at how you can connect your front end application to the back end there are multiple playlists available related to the python python fine handling or open cv module open cv is also a python module only then the jupyter notebook in python so the gui so these are the separate playlists and this python programming playlist is having already 85 videos completely so today i am going to start with the my sql that how you are going to connect your my sql with the python first of all i am going to come towards the python download if you are already having python installed into your system it's completely fine but in case you are not having python you can simply install it from the python.org website i will be sharing this link in the description of the video so you can check it another software which is required that is simply the mysql because the mysql is the backend uh, like database which i am going to use in this series so how you can connect your front end to the back end is with the help of mysql and there will be multiple uh, steps required for it so please stay tuned and do not skip the video otherwise you will lag behind so let me tell you that what you have to do if you have downloaded this python so it's fine if you have not downloaded so you can simply download this python and when you will be downloading it it will be simply coming into your system with this like download python 3.11.0 this is the latest version which i have already downloaded here for you so one click download and it will be coming into your system then you can simply open this and uh, like it's already installed into my system so it is asking to modify repair but in your system it will be giving the options to install don't forget to add to path because there is the option to add to path in case you have any uh, confusion that how you can install python so the first video in this playlist is already having that stuff that how you can install python so do not worry that video is already recorded and updated here for you okay so here required software python programming here you will be getting the installation anyways another thing is my sql i will share this particular link also in the description of the video so you won't be fa facing any problem go downwards and here you can see my sql community community gpl downloads so you have to move towards this one when you will be going here so you have to go for the <clears throat> my sql installer for windows because you are going for the windows so you can just go for this windows when you will be clicking on it so this one will be downloaded into your system i have already downloaded one file for myself that this is the like windows installer package you can see the same which i am showing you on the website that is mysql installer community so when you go inside this installer so there are multiple versions actually let me show you so here you can see i will share this exact link here you can see that uh, windows 86 like 32 bit and 86 32 bits msi so you actually have to go with this one 431.7 mb so like it is 64 and 32 both so if you are having the windows 64 operating system then also it's completely okay if your operating system is 32 bit then also this one is completely okay you can install this ver version so firstly you have to download it and after the download process it will be simply coming into your system like this as i am having it here so i can just click on it and uh, it is opening i'm not going to install it right now because uh, like i will be showing it to you separately but yes you can just take a look at it that how it is going to look i have already installed the version that's why i won't be able to install it right now here this is asking for the launcher and this way the installer launcher will be coming you have to go to the custom version like you do not have to go choose these all you have to go to the custom then next then here from the servers you have to simply choose the 
my sql server either you can go for server 5.76 or 8 all are same you do not have to worry about it but this is the latest so you can choose this so here the there are uh, like multiple versions of 0.8 also so you can take the latest one just add it here then here after the MySQL, you have to move towards the applications in case like you need the workbench. Right now in this series, I'm not going to use the workbench, so I'm not going to install it. And in this MySQL connectors, you have to simply take the shell. And here you have to go for shell. So you can take the same version simply here. This way, you can choose these things. And after that, when you will be coming towards the next, so you can execute it. But right now, I am not going to execute it for this instance. Like right now, I'm not installing, but you just have to execute and it will be installed into your system. Okay, so these are the softwares like PyCharm also I have downloaded. Let me show you. I am going to the PyCharm download website. So jetbrains.com is the website for PyCharm and I have installed the latest version. So here when you come to the PyCharm, so you will be getting two versions available. One is the professional version and another one is the community version. So you do not have to download the professional version. You actually have to go with the community version because uh, like it is free of cost and the professional version is coming for 30 days trial. After that, you have to pay for it. So you have to go with the community version and whatever you are going to do, each and everything will be properly satisfied and working with the community version. So you are not going to face any problem when you download this. When you are going to download the PyCharm community version, so it will be coming into your system like this. So you can see like version 2022.2.3 is the latest version and the same is in my system. I have just downloaded it to demonstrate these things to you. When you will be clicking on it, so the installation will be started. The next name desired will be there and the PyCharm community version I have already installed into my system. So these all links I will be sharing with you in the description of this video. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. In the next video, I will be starting with the practical implementation that how you can connect the front end to the back end in the Python. Python will be the code which we will be using the scripts of Python and the back end will be MySQL. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.